Look at this knotted ball of fuckery going on. Look at that. Oh. I'm not big on today's fashion trends, like, at all. Um, <laughs> because I'm not. I don't have that kind of time in my life to be big on, like, fashion. I don't have the money to be big on fashion, although I wish I could. Can't. Um, but there was a lot of trends I thought were very questionable even today. Maybe in the next 10 years, like, today's trends will be shit. I don't fucking know. We're gonna start with fashion trends I never quite understood. But my 13-year-old nephew likes to walk around in socks and sandals. I do not know why. I do not know how he thinks this is like... Like, I mean, are your feet too cold to not wear socks, but too hot to wear sand to not wear sandals? I... I don't know. I'm confused. Um... I never understood that trend. I mean, I, I don't even know if it's a trend. Is it a... Is it a trend? Or is it just something that people this has been going on for, like, centuries? Like, the socks and sandals shit. Like, why is this happening? Why are people doing this? Speaking of feet, let's talk about Crocs. Never understood that shit either. They look fucking weird and kind of ugly. I don't understand what putting holes in styrofoam shoes is going to do for your feet. I heard they're really comfortable, but I've never tried on a pair because they're kind of ugly, and to me, I just, they're just not my thing. They're, they're weird. They're, they don't go with any outfit. What outfit have you ever seen Crocs go perfectly with? I haven't seen a single fucking one, to be completely honest. I have holes in them, so you can't wear them in the goddamn rain because your feet will get wet. We can't wear them in the summer because they're still partially fucking covered, so your feet would probably sweat still, too. And if you wear socks with your Crocs, then I don't know what the fuck to do for you, because that's worse than wearing socks with sandals. Another thing I never really got, and this is like a trend that happened yeah, about ten years ago, was the Ugg boots with the mini skirt thing. Like, that happened, and I don't understand, like, your feet are too cold to wear sandals, but your legs are too hot to wear pants. What? I don't get that shit either. Why? Like, bitch, pick one. Is it fucking cold outside, or is it fucking hot outside? You can trend. Uh, the fucking leg warmers with, with the, with, with the, the leg warmers with the fucking sandals or whatever the fuck they used to do. I didn't get that shit either. It's like wearing fucking socks that didn't have the bottoms in them. Which, I mean, I understand the point of leg warmers. But then, like, you're wearing leg warmers and a mini skirt and, and flip-flops. So now your feet are too hot, but now your legs are too cold. But only half your leg is too cold. I don't get that shit either. What made people want to wear it? back in the day. I still don't fucking know. <clears throat> Got another f fashion trend I saw. Jeans, but they would wrap rubber bands around the bottoms, like around their ankles, so that way their jeans didn't touch their shoes. So like you had this, like this bitch, this, this bitch skin, this bit of skin, fucking just showing like out of your ankle or whatever like was I didn't understand that either I guess it, I mean I heard back in the day it was like a gangster thing I mean was it I don't know I never did it I don't know all I ever saw was the little gangster girls do it I was too afraid to ask them why <clears throat> like it wasn't even fucking raining half the time they would just wear these fucking rubber bands around their ankles and I'm just like what are you doing why are you doing this What's the point? Are your pant legs a little too long? Then buy shorter pants, maybe? I don't know. I'm just throwing out suggestions here. Let me do it for you. This. What the fuck is this? This looks cute on a three-year-old. 
not on a 20 year old please for the love of god stop doing it i don't know who started this somebody started it and somebody needs to fucking stop this only looks cute on three-year-old girls oh yeah the holy jean trend i sort of fell into this trend myself back in high school i bought like one pair of holy jeans in my entire life and that was back in high school and they were like kind of overpriced at forever 21 but like for some reason i thought they made me look hot but um like i mean it's one thing to have like a hole here and a hole there i'm talking about jeans where it was almost like the whole front end was missing like the whole front half of the pant leg is gone like there's like strings left that's it like just wear fucking shorts at that point like why even buy the fucking $60 jeans at fucking Abercrombie just to look cool when you could have just bleached them yourself at home in fact half of my fucking jeans look like that because I wore them so much I used to get jeans for Christmas or buy jeans for myself most of the time they didn't have holes I'd wear them and they just get holes. It just comes with like wear and tear and shit. You just, you get $20 pairs of jeans from Walmart and just fucking wear them. Wear them forever and then they will look the way you fucking want them to. It's like fucking magic. Congratulations, you did it. You made it in life. Life hack. Stupid long nails. Like stupid fake long nails. Like. How the fuck do you do anything with those? I mean, I do like the press on nails upon occasion and like I still have to grab things like this and it's very uncomfortable. Like, how do you use your hands? You need your hands for all kinds of shit. Like all kinds of shit. And you're gonna like prevent them from doing the thing that they're supposed to do? Why? Why you do this? Why you make this hard? Just grow out your nails. Or get nails that, like, don't fuck with your life. Okay? <sighs> Remember, um, back in the, uh, good old Jersey Shore days, um, where, where, like, Snookers, or Snooky, sorry, um, Snooky, she would, like, do her hair, and I'm sure, like, every other chick did her hair the same way, but they would, like, you know, put their hair up in a ponytail or some shit, but they'd poof it out. They would poof it out like this okay but it's not that easy you can't just poof it out like this okay you gotta like tangle your fucking hair just to get that look and for it to stay all fucking day so you gotta tangle the shit out of your hair first of all and then you gotta sp spray a shit ton of hairspray on it just for it to stay like that all fucking day you want your hair to be like that all fucking day imagine the fucking knots they would get I mean just think about it It'd just be a whole lot easier if there was a machine out there that could go, bam, done. You know what else I didn't get? The scrunchies. I don't think scrunchies ever did anything for anybody's hair. Like, I felt like, because I put a scrunchie in one day, like, out of the blue, because I thought, oh, wow, this was, like, cool in the fucking 90s. Let's see how it works now. Dude, that shit don't hold your hair up. You literally, like, put your hair up like this, and it goes down. It's like not having your hair up at all. Like, what's even the point? Why work that hard for something that ain't gonna fucking work? Oh. Here's another one from, like, junior high. Um. Remember when it was cool in junior high for some reason to wear, like, the t-shirt, but then, like, wear a tank top on top of it? <clears throat> Why? I understand wearing a tank top under your t-shirt, maybe, as, like, an undershirt, but, like, wearing your tank top on top of your t-shirt I didn't quite understand I never was into that trend and that might have been because back when I was in junior high principal was such an asshole about girls dress codes that we literally couldn't wear anything that could show our bra straps because this was a fucking issue they literally made a rule at my junior high school that we could not wear spaghetti strap shirts it was a rule could not wear them because they would show bra straps. Why the fuck was this an issue? Who the fuck's parents came to the school and was like, oh, her fucking bra strap is showing. Please 
Shield it from my son's eyes before he jizzes in his fucking pants. Good lord. Where you fucking go, I guess. Watch out, Roosevelt Junior High. Show him a fucking bra strap. Somebody stop me! You know what else was a weird fashion trend? It was kind of a fashion trend, but also kind of like a medical necessity. Were braces. Obviously, I never had braces in my entire life. You can tell by my fucking crooked ass teeth. However, I remember some girls ogling over the idea. Ogling? Oogling over the idea of having braces because it would make them cuter. I remember some of the cutest girls in my school. This is going to sound really weird because it's coming for me. Some of the cutest, cutest girls in my school had braces. And that was what, uh, a part, that was part of what made them popular was just the fact that they had braces. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> How did this become like the standard now? Another trend. Here's another one. Here's another one I don't fucking understand. And, and, I, I don't, the, the tube sock thing, but I noticed, like, only, like, this is gonna sound really white. The gangster people wear it. Okay? When they wear, like, the really big shorts, like, the shorts that go, like, past their fucking knees, and then they wear, like, the fucking long-ass socks. It's like, at that point, why not wear a pair of fucking jeans? Why not wear a pair of fucking jeans, guy? Oh, and the sagging the pants thing. I guess this is gonna be like cliche and shit with the sagging the pants thing. I know. I mean, you've probably heard it like a jillion times before. Oh, don't sag your pants. Oh, don't do this because you look retarded. You really do look retarded though. I'm just putting that out there. You do. Because, I mean, I've seen dudes literally walk in into public. Into fucking public. And they'll like sag their pants. I mean, you can't see. Cause like I'm short as fuck, but like you see my bow button, you see where my vagina could be. Yeah, they would sag it past there. Like if these dudes had a vagina, you'd see their camel toe. Half the time they're holding their pants up with like one hand, and like using their other hand for shit. And like how the fuck do you do things with one hand? Is that like your dominant hand you're doing shit with? Is is your dominant hand your belt? Where's your dominant hand, the, 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 the knot belt? If I do this, will I be beautiful? Am I beautiful? Like, all it takes is one attractive person on the internet to, like, start up a stupid fashion trend nowadays. And that that's all it takes. Even something like this could be, like, a fucking fashion trend because someone on the internet who's attractive enough is going to do this one day as a hairstyle and be like, Oh, I'm unique. And that's exactly what's gonna happen and it's gonna blow up out of fucking proportion and then I'm gonna have to make a whole other fucking video on it because I have to rant somewhere okay just... but yeah that's all I got for you uh, for today that's enough uh, fashion trends that I have to like look back on and remember and be like ew that happened several times on several different incidences but um yeah, I mean, shit. If you want to, you can tell me about all the shit that you saw as a fashion trend and was like, uh, ew, gross. Or maybe you did it yourself because you made that mistake, and that's fine. People make mistakes. I won't judge you for your mistakes that you made, and that's fine. But, you know, until next time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother...